One of the things I worked on when I designed this printer was to actually uh, make things easily interchangeable which uh, at this point I'm going to put to the test because uh, I'm getting ready for the Elkhorn Mini Maker Fair. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take off the entire effector unit because I don't want to, this will be in the car on its side and I don't want this to be bouncing around in any way so I'm going to take that out and the intent the way this was built was to make that an easy process so what it would entail is right now the Delta Smart Effector has two uh, plugs on here uh, that can uh, just be unplugged and uh, theoretically I can pull out the Bowden tube but I don't really have to because I'm going to take off both the effector as well as the extruder and the extruder uh, in this case the Bontech extruder uh, again I designed to have th three thumb screws here that will take this out as a whole unit. I guess this video <laughs> is going to put that to the test. Uh, so first thing is what I'll do is I'm going to turn off the uh, the printer it's on right now and just take out the power cord all together. All right. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to unplug uh, the the front plug on the Delta effector. I'm going to not done this before so I don't know how easy or hard this is. Alright that came out pretty easy. Uh, this is one of the uh, Delta Effector connectors. There's one in the back here that has a little you know, push thing on here. There we go. So at this point the cables to the Delta Effector have been disconnected. The remaining cable is to the uh, plug for the uh, extruder motor, the stepper motor, so I'm going to plug that out. And now at this point, the entire unit is unplugged. So that's all it takes, is these three little, little plugs take them out. Of course the proof is in the pudding when I push this back that I didn't create any loose contacts. Um, so the next thing that I can do is I can take the rods down and I'm going to leave just one rod connect because I just don't want to have this delta effector hanging by the Bowden tube alone. But at this point, let me see if I can get the camera a little better positioned. Uh, my arms will be in the way unfortunately. But So the actual effector and the extrusion are hanging off of this uh, wiring mechanism. It, there's a brown disc in here and then the actual uh, extruder itself and I have like a spare one and that's kind of the idea of how easy it should be interchangeable. So this sits within that circle so when I remove the three screws these should be done by hand easily. So now at this point, and I can now also disconnect. So here we go. The entire, <laughs> let's call it the spine of the Delta C3D T Big Delta. This I'm going to store in a separate box and transport it separately from the actual printer along with I'm going to take the rods off so that they won't be shaken around. So that worked out very nicely actually. 